Hi guys, for this video, we're going to use a function that allows users to give input to your program. So this time we will be accepting data from the user and then we can, image, we can process it through different functions. So this function that I'm talking about is your scanf function. So basically, the scanf function uh, allows you to store var values into a variable. So what we will be needing for this lesson is to uh, start with a variable declaration and then afterwards we can now use the scanf function to accept values and store them into variables. For this video, I am using a C an online C compiler uh, in codechunk.com. So let's get started. So what is a scanf function? So in the syntax in writing a scanf function is that you write the word scanf in small letters and then inside the parentheses after creating the two this is inside is your a format specifier which indicates what type of data are you going to accept and store so make sure that uh, it would be of the same data type uh, for the variable that you're going to use for an in a scan of function so for example if i'm going to accept an a float value then i would write here percent f after the comma an ampersand sign follows and then the name of the variable so in a scan a function this would mean that the program is going to wait for a value to be entered that is of a float data type and then after accept after uh, entering a value that value will now be stored on bar name which is the variable name so at this point Whatever the value that was given to the program, then it will now be stored on variable name, bar name. So let's give an example. After the comma, an ampersand sign follows, and then the name of the variable. So in a scan a function, this would mean that the program is going to wait for a value to be entered that is of a float data type and then after accept after uh, entering a value that value will now be stored on bar name which is the variable name so at this point whatever the value that was given to the program then it will now be stored on variable name bar name so let's give an example so first we have to declare a variable and let's say I'm going to use a, an integer and then the variable name is age. If I want my age to be uh, accept, uh, if I'm going to accept value from the user to my program, so I'm going to use a scan f and then percent %d because I'm using an and be accepting an integer and I will be storing that to variable age so that's why and age so at this point once the, the user enters a value that value will now be entered to I mean will be stored to variable age so to display the value of variable age if it was really stored we just display still percent D for the placeholder and the variable age so take note of the difference if you're just going to display you do not have the ampersand sign here but if you're going to scan for a value you use the ampersand sign so if you are using code jam you have to click first on the custom input to indicate that you are going to write a value here that will be stored because you are using the scan F. So let us say 30. And then you run the program. This 30 will now be the first input that will be 
received by your scan f. If I run the code, it will display 30. As you can see here, we have 30. So you may be able to use scan f as many as often as you want, uh, depending on the program that you've created. So here's another example. If I'm going to introduce a variable named weight uh, with data type float, so I'll be using another scanf, but this time I'm using percent %f as my uh, uh, format specifier. And take a look at the, the way I printed the value for the weight. So after accepting the weight, I'm going to print that value using this statement. So always remember that this formatting of your placeholder can only happen when you are using printf. You cannot do that when you are using scanf. Only percent and then the, uh, the letter or, uh, for, for the format specifier. No other formatting required for float values. But for printf, you can just simply write uh, a for a specific format so let us run this program but of course since you already have two scan apps it would now require two variable two uh, input so first input will be for the first scan f and the second input will be for the second scan f so you can write it here With a separated with a space, or you can write it down below. Either way, you will have the same result. So let's run the program. As you can see, 30 was stored to age, weight was stored to uh, 123.50 was stored to weight. So there are also other ways in writing your scan F. Because you can also use scanf, uh, one scanf with two inputs. So, another way of writing this one is that you may combine these two statements, 6 and 7, into one. And that would be so you use percent %d for the first input and then percent %f. For the second input and then ampersand sign so since the first input is percent d it would be an a variable that is of integer data type so i'm going to write here age and then separated by a comma another ampersand for the next variable that will be accepted i mean value that will be accepted so i write percent weight a ampersand weight so the first percent d will be a stored on uh, variable age while well, for the second percent f it would be stored to variable weight so we may not we may no longer need this one so we'll just we'll just erase this one but still we will be using the same variable of the same value i mean so that this time let's use uh, a single line when it comes to our input. So again, 30 will be stored to age, uh, 120 will be stored to weight. So when we run the code, we will have the same result as before. Okay. So if you change the values, and run the code again, will now this result. So scanf is very useful when you want your users to involve in your program. They will be the one who's going to provide um, inputs for you for your program to work on. So I hope this one is very useful to you and I hope you also click on subscribe and share thank you